What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another tutorial video. In this updated tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how um, I use Paint.net to make my thumbnails. Now, before I start this video, I just wanted to say that this thumbnail, uh, this tutorial is not for you guys to actually copy exactly what I'm doing. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to do that, and, and, and that's fine if you're like totally new to paint.net if you got and you have no idea what you're doing it's fine to copy exactly what i'm doing just to you know get the hang of the program but if you guys already know how to use paint.net or photoshop or any edit image editing software then i want this tutorial is mainly meant to give you guys uh, new ideas or a new format or new creative ideas um to help you maybe improve your th own thumbnails if you guys think you need to change it um or maybe um, give you a little bit more tips and learn more how to use paint.net So with that out of the way, let's get straight into the thumbnail making so open your paint.net because this is just a mainly paint.net tutorial I, I don't have Photoshop. So um, if you guys want to find a tutorial for that I'm sorry. This is not the video is not meant for you So again uh, open paint.net the first thing I want to do is go to image canvas size and make it uh, 1080p so 1920 make the width 1920 and the height 1080 Press OK, and because a 1080p is the size of the thumbnail, like the actual thumbnails are 16 by 9 ratio, which is 1920 by 1080 is a 16 by 9 ratio. You can make it 1280p or not 720p, which is 1280 by 720, but 1080 is just a little bit more high quality, I guess. So I'm gonna. If the first thing you want to do is make your background. So I'm gonna. I don't like the white background, so press Control A and delete on your keyboard to. Um, delete the whole white background and what you want to do is for you, you can make your background literally anything it can be um, maybe a texture of like a grunge or maybe um, it can be a screenshot of the game that you're playing which is like what I usually do for my thumbnails like I take a screenshot of the file of my recording file um, or it can be um, a picture of your face if you're a vlogger and of you smiling or making a cool expression and then adding the pictures on top of that um which is what a lot of vloggers i know do um with that's what because that's the main attraction of your thumbnail like thumbnails of course there's a background and there's a foreground and like the main attraction so um a lot of vloggers they make their face or a screenshot of their video just the main thumbnail and then maybe a little text but for this one it's going to be a different format it's going to be a general format and this is the format of how i make my own thumbnails again you don't have to copy it but this is just a cool way i like and it's simple but it's effective so choose the background you want i'm just going to go to google images um and um let's say that this i'm gonna for example this thumbnail i'm gonna make right now is let's say it's for a battlefield one beta gameplay thumbnail so i'm gonna go and type in battlefield one and choose any background that you guys want so tutorial purposes i'm gonna choose any random background i think this looks cool a nice shot of the plane and it's perfectly 10 it's 1920 by 1080 which is the perfect this is the, which is the same size as our canvas so that's perfect right click copy the image you don't have to save it um you just copy the image from the internet go back to paint on it and press ctrl v to paste it to your background so I don't like I don't really want to show the Battlefield One logo and the EA Dice logo right there. So I'm gonna resize the picture a bit. Hold Shift to make it the same aspect ratio, and there we go. Now all we have is the plane showing. Press deselect. So now um, I really don't like the you really don't want your background um, to be to 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 leave it like that unless you unless you want the background picture to be your the main the the main part of your thumbnail. Um, then you can leave it like that but i like adding text and photos to my thumbnail so i like to blur the background a little bit so i'm gonna go to effects blurs gaussian blur excuse me and put the radius to about uh 15 is good so like that now we, my background is blurred and that it adds a little nice depth of field i guess effect to your thumbnail and i just like the way it looks so i'm gonna also add a vignette to it so if i go to effects photo vignette um, put the radius a little bit higher. So now it adds a little shadows to the corners of it and This is what it looks like before the vignette and this is what it looks like with it. I just think it looks cool again um, So now I'm gonna add a new layer and I'm gonna add my text now So of course you want the to make a thumbnail Effective and click worthy you want to make uh, it colorful flashy, but you want to make 
if you're going to use words, which is, I do suggest using words, but you need to summarize what the video is in as little words as possible. If you have too many words, it's just, it's not going to look too appealing. So you want to make a big, bold um, sent, uh, words, maybe like three to four words or something like that. But I use as little words as possible. So I'm going to go to Google Chrome. I'll go to your browser. I'm gonna go back to Google Images. I mean, and um, I want to type in "Battles We Want" beta gameplay. So that summarizes the video in just three words, which is perfect. So I really, I don't want to type in "Battles We Want" with just a normal font. I actually want to put in the the official logo. So you guys can do that if you go if you type in the game logo PNG. So "Battles We Want" logo. The PNG just means that the background will be transparent. So there it is. So um, uh, uh, this logo has a transparent background. As you can see, if the background is checkered, like a white and gray checker box, that means there's no background at all. So right click, copy the image again, and paste it with Control V. So now we have our Battlefield 1 logo. I'm gonna put the logo on the left side, right there, because on the left side I will have text, but on the right side I will have the photos, which is again, the format that I usually make my thumbnails for gaming thumbnails at least, and I think it looks pretty cool. So put, I'm gonna put the logo on the left side, and I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna add a drop shadow to it, so I'm gonna go effects, photo, glow, put the radius all the way up, the brightness all the way down, and the contrast all the way up. It's 20 minus 100, 100, press okay. So now it adds a little drop shadow effect to it, but if you guys wanna add more, just repeat the glow. And there we go, now we have an, a, a more drastic drop shadow. So now I'm going to add another layer and add in the beta gameplay part. So you can choose any font you want from your text. Make your, oh, You have to go to text tool. Um, a cool website where you can download free fonts is defont.com. I will leave the link in the description. Um, which font will I use? I like this font. Actually no, I like this font here, right? demonized. Um, resize it, make it bigger, and type in what you want your text to say. I'm going to type in beta gameplay because that's what the video that the pretend video is so beta gameplay as you can see it doesn't look too cool too good if it's like overlapping the battlefield text so i'm going to resize it and make it exactly underneath the text right there that's a good size i want to move it right there so as you can see it's more on it's more like centered on the on the logo i don't really know how to explain it so you can add, so what you want to do is of course add color, you can you can add a color or you can leave it white, but it just looks terrible if you leave it white, so um, go to the magic wand, tolerance, or I don't, don't mess with the tolerance, and hold shift and select any white part of the text. Make sure all the elements of your thumbnail are on different layers. So um, you can choose the paint bucket tool and choose any color here and just press, uh, hold shift to, to click. But um, I don't like the solid color look so what i'm going to do is actually go to the gradient tool for the primary color choose um a light shade of the color and for the secondary choose the dark shade this that's the dark shade so we have a, in the primary sp spot you have a light shade of green and in the secondary slot you have a dark shade of green and then all i have to do is hold shift and drag down on the layer on the text i mean so now if you deselect it as you can see we have a cool little gradient effect on our on our text so now to add a nice little 3d looking effect ish what you want to do is duplicate the layer these are just some cool text effects that you guys can do in paint.net so duplicate the layer choose the bottom layer of the that, that that's a duplicated one hold Control a go to the move selected pixels tool and using your keyboard on the arrow keys press the down air press the down arrow key a couple of times now as you can see the the bottom text is like slowly inching creep creeping underneath or moving more down and it doesn't look too good when it's like this but if you go to adjustments hue slash saturation you put the lightness about halfway down as you can see it adds a nice it adds a nice little i guess it's a drop shadow too or or a cool 3d looking effect it's subtle but it looks really cool so now if you go to the, choose the top duplicate layer and press merge layer down so now that the both the text are on the exact same layer so now I'm gonna go back to um, photo glow and repeat the glow as you can see our settings are saved and repeat the glow again now we have that black drop shadow 
I'm gonna move it a bit higher so it's overlapping the bit there as you can see if you have it overlapping a little bit it looks kind of cool so now you're oh, we're almost done our thumbnail well, I want to add a photo on the right side so I'm gonna add a new layer put it in between the beta gameplay and the battlefield one logo and again go to battlefield one type in battlefield one PNG uh, I'm gonna type in battlefield one PNG because it's a, of course the battlefield one thumbnail so I like this picture right here make sure again that the background is transparent you can check that but if you see a white and gray checker box so right click copy the image of course and i'm gonna only choose one soldier because uh, i don't have space for two so i'm just gonna do this one resize it however you like put it on the right side and as you can see there it looks really cool so i'm gonna add i'm gonna repeat the glow again to this layer so now as a nitro drop shot effect and guys i think this is our thumbnail that's done so um this looks pretty cool um in my opinion at least um you guys can change it however you want you can add some things you can uh, take away some things again this is all up to you you have to make your own creative ideas and apply them to your graphic art um and this tutorial is of course again not to exactly copy it so now once you're done go to file save as and save it as a dot as a jpeg name it i'm just gonna name it battle um bf1 tutorial thumbnail and there we go save it and press ok and make sure you press flatten and you are completely done your thumbnail now all you have to do is upload your video and put your thumbnail in your video while you're uploading so i hope you guys did enjoy that video i know it was a little, it was a little long and it might be a little bit confusing this tutorial is meant for people who have used paint.net again before in the past and know how to work their way around it so um i hope this guys i hope this tutorial helped you guys out and hope hopefully it helped you improve your graphic designing a little bit and i just hope you enjoy the video thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out guys